hello everyone in this video you will learn how to make this journal loop note that uh, you can use in your project and later we will convert this loop node into an integration loop node uh, that uh, you can use for the integration like in case of the noise flow and these nodes are available freely along with my follow of nodes the link is in the video description now i'll explain how this uh, loop node is works so loop uh, is basically like uh, we have to do a number of uh, operations in a sequence for example if we have this a uh, transform node and we want to transfer a geometry along say x axis this single node basically doing a one iteration or one step and if we duplicate this and connect them in a series so we are doing the transformation twice or a two number of iterations and if we connect them uh, for three times or four times uh, we are doing this for the four number of iterations and each uh, step is basically transforming the geometry along the x-axis by a point one so this is fine if we uh, want to do a four or five or ten iterations suppose if you want to do a around 50 100 or 200 iterations then this method is uh, become very inconvenient so for that i have created this uh, loop node it allow you do uh, 500 iterations and you can also connect them in a series to extend them for a thousand or higher number of iterations so this is the one uh, step for this loop node and if we go inside this uh, uh, we have these uh, switch nodes and here you are going to perform the uh, transformations or whatever the operation you want to do on this geometry and these switch nodes basically are going to switch between the values from this current step and from the values or the geometry from the previous steps means if this step is executed it going to output these uh, values and geometry from this step otherwise uh, it's going to output the values from the previous steps and if you don't need these switch nodes you can just delete them and you can also change these outputs according to your need so by default it basically output five float values as well as five vector values and you can change them into a different types as well so this is the one step and i have connected these steps for 500 times in this loop node and suppose you need only uh, 50 iterations you can uh, mute uh, rest of the these steps uh, with m key to gain a uh, performance so with this m key you can mute them or unmute these uh, steps and this is uh, it uh, for this loop node and now let's convert them this loop node into an integration loop node and i'll show you how you can change these uh, inputs so uh, let's uh, first rename this as integration step so i'm doing this just for integration just to show you how you can change this loop node into any type a loop let's also rename this as integration and this is our integration step let's go inside this and we don't uh, need these switch nodes let's delete them in this uh, let's uh, delete some of the inputs because we only need this first one uh, let's uh, delete them and also we need one vector delete rest of these and also we don't need these outputs okay and let's change this one this input to a boolean and also change this to a boolean because we're going to use the extrude node for integration so for that we need uh, this one uh, for this uh, let's uh, disable the hide value now here uh, let's add the extrude node plug this here and change this to vertices and connect this to this selection make this offset zero and also add the set position node and connect this to this selection and this to our new output so why i added this set position node because i want this full control over the position even though we can offset this and but i want to bring this position outside this loop so with this uh, when this position is outside this loop node uh, we can do different kind of operations like and we can project the east position onto a different mesh 
so if it is inside then we have to bring that mesh inside this loop node that is more complicated so that's why i use the set position node instead of just offsetting the position of these newly extruded vertices so we have completed our integration step now let's uh, go to inside this integration node and here uh, we're going to uh, disconnect this and enable this one so by this uh, we can setting that the first step should extrude the vertices rest of the steps should depend on these first step and let's also delete uh, these we only need the first one and let's also delete uh, from this output node and let's rename this as position so we have this integration node and this is the integration step uh, now connect the position so we have this position then we need add node vector add node and we going to basically do the flow noise with this integration then add the scale node then add the vector subtract node type here 0.5 and then add the noise node change this to a 4d and let's type 1 see we have these lines based on this noise uh, let's add a more number of points on this plane so let's add the distribute node and then change this p to a vertices let's type here 20 so we have these lines based on this noise make them 30 iterations so this is how simple to convert this loop node into integration and then use this integration for this noise flow and i'll also show you my uh, these fall of nodes so these are the fall of nodes and we're going to use this one this is the object sphere fall of based on the object position let's add the empty and let's select this empty and type here 0.5 and connect this to this one see now you can control the scale based on this empty object there are different types of all of nodes that uh, you can use in your project these nodes are available freely uh, the link is in the video description and if you like this work then please uh, do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy nodding bye